What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So, due to popular demand, I'm going to be drawing Neymar again. <clears throat> this time Barcelona when he was younger, with kind of that fringe long hair that he had. So I'm in a landscape page, use a pencil and an eraser for these, sketch them out lightly, you know, so you can erase your mistakes. And try have fun. So, let's go. Center point of my page is about here. So we'll go for the eyes, just up a bit and over to the right, okay? So he's got, like the other image, he's got like quite thin eyes, right? So, curve the line up and down. Like that, right? And then in here we have the tear duct, right? And then we go across quite flat, across, like this, right, so very thin eyes, right? So his iris and pupil, so we got like, just the inside curve of that there, and the outside curve just there. And you can see a little bit of his tear duct just in there. And then the pupil just barely sort of touching the top eyelid line there. And it's just like a black circle. Okay. And eyelashes, got quite big eyelashes, right? So like sticking up. And a few just coming across this side as well. Quite small as we get down here. Like so. And then just some tiny little ones just coming across the bottom here as well. Okay, so very thin eyes now. Okay. Top eyelid just comes across the top of this skin line, just across the top of his eye like that. And then you can have sort of lines that come down the inside of his nose as well. So like coming down this way. And then some bags underneath his eyes, just a light sort of line just going there. Right, so eyebrow just above, so a little hairy at the start there. And then we just go back this way. He doesn't have the shaving in his eyebrow yet. This is when he's young. So we just curve it down to there. And then we go around the top. They can be sort of a hairy line, you know. So we're just down to a point down here. Might be a line on the inside for his nose. So it's just lines like that. Okay, so we go over and do the other eye. So same thing again, right? But we're eye width over. So you measure the width of his eye, right? So from the tear duct, this corner to this, you measure that and that will fit nearly exactly in between his eyes, right? But between human eyes is another eye. So then we go real thin again, right? Curve line like so. And then the tear duct flicks around here. And then we're fairly flat as we go across bottom of his eye again. And you can just see a little bit of his tear duct in there. And then the iris 
just that sort of bracket there curved line just imagine it's a circle underneath the eyelids and then pupil again same thing just sort of touching black circle touching the top eyelid Get it as in the middle as you can. Okay. Right, and then eyelashes again, big long sort of eyelashes on top. And they go sort of down this way as well, and they get kind of smaller. down there and then he has tiny little eyelashes that come off just here and then we got like a bag underneath his eye going that way coming down his nose here again and another eyelid line on top, so like a skin line just on the top of his eye. Like so. And then his eyebrow again, kind of hairy at the front. And then we just go back. So, and then top of his eyebrow, down that way. Okay, so for his nose, right, coming down from this eyebrow, we just draw a line diagonally that way. We could do something similar on the other side. With the, with the nose, it's kind of drawing, you're not drawing a lot of lines, right? But just do some light lines there and then we kind of have the bridge of his nose that kind of curves this way okay and then it starts to go back out down around like that okay and then his nostrils beside this right so we got like one nostril here one nostril there Okay, and we can thicken these up a little bit, just darken them to make them look more like holes. Right? And then we're going to join them together with this sort of curved line pointy down. Around to there. So then we add the skin for the nostrils coming out from the side of his nose, right? So we go out here and then we just curve around like so same thing on this side All right and usually there's like these little sort of lines you know for the bridge of the nose on the side here Right, and that's kind of all you need to do for the nose. There is like more you can do, like hatching and all that kind of stuff, but I think that's all we need really. Then we have some lines that come down just from the side of his, his cheeks here, just from the side of the nose, like so. And then his mouth. So he's got that cheeky sort of grin, right? So your mouth ends just sort of underneath your pupils, right? The corner of a human's mouth, right? So say under this one, we put him smiling on this side, right? Okay, and then this will like curve down. Like so, like his lip is being pulled, so it's kind of flat. 
So these muscles on his cheek are pulling his lips. That's what a smile is, right? So and then we're going to aim for under just this side of his eye here. Okay. So then we'll just add his bottom lip. Like so. And the top lip then. Coming across. Down the middle. Back up. And then down to there. Right into the corner. Okay. And sometimes like some extra lines on the lips. Like that. So he has, he doesn't have his full beard that he has like now. He's got like, like a, it's like a younger man's beard basically. It's like just lots of hair, sort of single strands of hair. So there's like a little bit like down here. So like a little sort of. Triangle sort of there. And then his chin is down here and you could do it as a hairy sort of line or it could be straight. But we'll just go straight for now. Okay. And like proportions of things, eyebrows to nose is about the same as nose to chin. So here to here, top of the eyebrow, the beard is like longer. It's not really his chin. His chin is like up higher, but for this drawing, where here to here is about the same as there to there. Say so eyebrow to nose, about the same as nose to chin. Okay, roughly. And then nose to just under the bottom lip, say so the beard area is about the same as beard area to chin. Right, this little hairy part here to here, about the same as there to there, roughly. Okay, so we go for his jaw up the side, and we can do this as a hairy line if we want, or a straight line. So we'll just curve up like so, about mouth level underneath the eyebrow there, then you change direction up the side of his face. Okay, and we go the other direction. About mouth level, we start to change, curve up. And this is all going to be like hair and stubble and stuff, so. Okay, and you could have like um, some cheekbone lines just coming in there. Right, so this part of his face looks really big, and that's because of the beard, right? So we're going to add sort of like some hairlines now like this. Some stubble just coming across the top of his lip. Keep going as much as you want. If it was full beard, I'd just draw like like I did in the other portrait of him. I'd draw like, you know, like a full zigzag sort of thing. But because this is just sort of hair like this, I'll just draw it in individually. So it's just like these light sort of all around layers of this. And it's got like a bit of a brown shadow on it. So if you're coloring, It 
So when I just build it up and then keep going sort of up the side of his face a little bit as well. So you could keep building it up as much as you want, you know, adding loads of hair, but this is kind of just a way of drawing like, like stubble more than a, uh, than a beard. And I'm just going to make it sort of hairy down here. All right, so it's just like a different way of drawing a beard than what we normally draw on this channel. But I think it's useful to learn different ways of doing things. And his stubble goes all the way up to like his sideburn up here right so like it eventually becomes his hair on the side of his head right which is pretty shaved but you can still see it okay <laughs> right so at the top of his sideburn his ears come out right just kind of in line with the eyebrow right so come out curve around down into there and he's got like earrings on curved ones like this and his earlobe then just goes into there. All right, and then just ear lines inside. So starting like this easiest way, letter J. And then you can add more if you want. Just inside there. All right? Do the same thing on the other side. And he has an earring on this side as well. Okay, and then same sort of shape, letter J sort of thing going on here. And then you can add more detail to it if you want. Okay. Okay, so then his head, right? So it's really shaved back here, right? So I'll just like curve it around up like that. Curve it around to there. And then the hairline kind of goes in this way a bit. And on this side, it disappears underneath the sort of long hair that he has. Let's say we'll go to there. barely sort of see it because his fringe comes down that way right so this is just all sort of shaved hair and then he has like some lines just on his forehead Right, so looks like bald Neymar right now, but we'll um, add his hair, right? So long sort of strands of hair, right, coming across his head this way, right? So like all these hair spikes, quite thin, some single strands and stuff. You know, gel, gelled up and sort of push down with his hand, right? Mm -hmm. It can be quite long in places. So we keep going. Do -do 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 -do. Some about this, this pupil, maybe. Sorry, now there's a little dot there that's annoying me. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Can you see it's like just on the corner there? <laughs> Pretty annoying. Gonna get rid of it.
Okay, you might have noticed that, but that was annoying me. All right. Now, back to his hair. Sorry, did that detour. So, lots of these. Thin enough sort of hairlines. It comes down nearly to his ear, so it like comes down to here. Goes around his head then. Comes around here, and you have like little spikes sticking up. Right, and like some little texture lines just on his hair here, just to show that it's kind of shaved and stuff like that. And then we will bring it all the way around his head, right? So we'll go around. Right, and it kind of like sticks up at the back as well this kind of thing so it goes like that way okay and then it like sticks up back here drawing on my tape now Right, like so, and this will have like some texture just coming down this way. Okay, basically, that's his sort of hair. All right, so then we'll go down and do his neck. So neck comes down from here. Neck comes down from there. Ooh. Right, and we can just see his collar of his shirt coming around here. Barcelona early jersey, so it like comes down to these little angles here. So, and like neck muscle here, that comes across like that. Maybe Adam's apple or something there. And he's got a tattoo on his neck. So, curve around like a joined letter T or something. I'm not really sure what it says. Just. Maybe it's probably Brazilian or Portuguese, should I say. And then, big letter here. Right, like that. So that's basically his tattoo. So, rest of his shirt, right? We've got this V that comes down here. It's got yellow and white stripes in it. We've got some stitching that comes along the side. His shoulders then come down, like so. Roughly like that. Shoulder line. Shoulder line around there. Right, and then so blue and red stripes. And then 
the crest is like lower down, but we'll, I'll add it kind of a little bit higher up just so we can see it. So we'll, go, we'll put the Nike tick here. And then the, maybe the top of the Barcelona crest. In here somewhere, right? You got that shape again. that and then there's like the English Red Cross like so and then F Football Club Barcelona B F C B like that and that's pretty much everything that's sort of draw name our last thing I like to do is thicken up the lines around the edge just make things stand up a little bit more right Neymar Jr. Young Neymar hope it's helpful thanks for watching see you in the next one bye